sometimes you may find that salt has mixed with sand by accident and you have no way to separate salt from sand and what you see here is a mixture of salt and sand and in this video i'm going to show you how you can separate salt from sand so i'm going to add more salt in this container here and i'm going to also add more sand more sand in this container here and in this video i'm going to show you how you can separate these two mixture salt and sand so So we continue. The first thing that you're going to need is your, you're going to need a pan like this. I'm going to spread my mixture across this pan. So I'm spread the mixture. Like this, this pan. Then I'm going to need a piece of magnet. So here. So before rushing into dissolving your mixture in water, I find that it's a good idea to pick up as much sand particles as possible and this will help to simplify the filtration process in the later stage. So you can see here by just holding the magnet above the mixture of salt and sand, I was able to remove a significant amount of sand. I could continue doing so but I will never be able to remove all of the sand because there are very small dust particles that will not be attracted towards the magnet. So I move on to the next stage. So I take a pan, half fill this water and I pour my mixture of salt and sand into it. And as you can see, all of this dust particle could not be removed by using magnet. Then I take a spoon and I started to stir my mixture. In order to make sure that I dissolve as much salt as I can. Then after that, I just take a normal filter and I started to filter my mixture. As you can see, by just using a normal filter, you cannot get a clear solution. But you should use it because it helps to filter out those large sand particles that will block your filter paper. Then after that, I decided that I will find a better filter and the best filter I could find at home is this piece of cloth because this piece of cloth seems to filter out most of the sand particles. But for you, I would recommend you to use a filter paper. Although the filtration process will take longer time, but you will have at least a clear solution compared to mine. Then after that, to find a source of heat. You can use electricity, you can use a gas stove, you can use a charcoal. So for me, I'm going to boil all of this water until I left with only salt so I'm going to leave it for some time so it seems as if evaporation process taking place very slow so I decided that I will pour my mixture to this flat frying pan because this flat frying pan will provide a more surface area for the pressure process to take place
so you can see here after just two minutes the water level has dropped a lot in this frying pan the operation process seems to be more efficient than before you can see a trace of salt above this pan here but also you may decide to use sunlight to evaporate the water you may take your pan outside to put it under the sun so now you can see that a lot of water is already evaporated and I'm going to turn off my gas stove I'm going to leave this salt to cool down but for me able to touch it and to see how it feels like So here my salt has already cooled down and all of the water has evaporated. But you can see here my salt is not very white, it has brownish color. And the reason you see this brown color here and this salt is that the water that I was used for evaporation process was not very clean. I used the water that was looking like this. This water is not very clean, that's why that color you see it you see it in on this salt but if you can find a way to convert or to filter out all of this water to be to look like this to be very pure then you'll be able to have very clean salt at the end